Welcome to Skyscraper, a small map with two floors, many balconies, and a perfect layout for rappel possibilities. Let's take a look at the map's blueprint. We can see the first floor and the second floor, as well as three staircases, which allow for rotation possibilities on both floors. Time to check out the first floor. Note the position of the three staircases, as well as the restaurant balcony and the house balcony. This floor has two important areas, the lobby bedroom area and the restaurant kitchen area. Let's start with that last one. From the back stairs, we enter into the back hallway, and then we breach through this wall to access the toilet. From here, we can access the restaurant balcony, which is one of the two balconies surrounding the entire floor. Let's move into the restaurant and have a look at the main stairs. We cross the reception and arrive at the main entrance, which leads to the lobby bedroom section. We'll check that out later. Let's turn back and cross the reception again. So we arrive at the pantry. On our left is the delivery room, which provides access to the lobby bedroom area. Take note of this door. It's often used by attackers who come in from the ventilation unit spawn point, so defenders can wait for them here to get early kills. You'll want to pay attention to the destructible wall next to the door. You can create some sneaky lines of sight through it. Going back inside, we cross the pantry to enter the kitchen. Keep in mind that almost every window on this map leads to a balcony. This one here provides access to the restaurant balcony. All right, let's go back into the restaurant, enter the barbecue, and finish our tour where we started it in front of the back stairs. Let's look at the blueprint again. Now we'll visit the lobby bedroom area. Starting outside in front of the house balcony door, we breach into the house lobby and take a look at the house stairs on our right. Let's move to the house entrance. In front of us is the main entrance, which we saw earlier from the other side. It leads to the reception and restaurant. Crossing the house lobby, we enter the delivery room, which we also saw earlier, and which leads to the kitchen restaurant area. Turning around, we enter the bathroom, which is another room that can be accessed from the house balcony. Let's breach through another window to enter the closet and continue on into the bedroom, which is an important room since it may contain objective sites for every game mode. Moving back into the house lobby, we finish where we began in front of the house stairs. Time to hit the second floor. You'll want to take note of the position of the balconies. Like the first floor, this floor is also divided into two important areas, the karaoke tea room area and the exhibition work office area. Let's go into that last one first. Starting again from the house stairs, we go up and arrive at the VIP clearance. Let's breach through this wall to have a look at the dragon statue outside. We'll now venture back into the lounge before going into the exhibition. Now let's go outside onto the house balcony. As we saw in the blueprint, this balcony flanks the entire area. Now let's move south and turn to enter the work office, which is also an important location that can contain numerous objective sites. And now we'll go through the lounge and end up on the terrace. Now let's visit the karaoke tea room area. We'll begin on the terrace and head outside to see the restaurant balcony. Coming back inside, we enter the Taco. From the mezzanine, we have a good view of the reception located below. Let's continue into the hallway. From here, we can access the main stairs, which lead back to the restaurant on the first floor. Let's go back up and breach through this wall to arrive in the geisha room. And if we go outside, we're once again on the restaurant balcony. Going back inside the geisha room, we move into the hallway and enter the tea room, and then the karaoke. Let's go back out into the hallway, then outside to see the dragon statue we saw earlier. Now we'll finish our tour here at the back stairs again, which also lead to the front of the restaurant on the first floor. Skyscraper has three spawn points. Located to the west is the helipad. First, let's turn left to see the entrances. Back to the helipad, let's go now to the right.
The ventilation unit spawn point is located to the south. and you'll find the tower spawn point to the northeast. Each of Skyscraper's two floors is split into two areas. The first floor has two connectors that link the two areas, the main entrance and the delivery room. The second floor has one connector that links the two areas, the terrace. And finally, the two balconies provide numerous entry points for attackers and multiple runout possibilities for defenders. This ain't the time to have your head in the clouds, operators. Gear up and fight.